Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Unboxing and Stuff. Today is a very exciting episode for me because I'm actually going to show you guys some of the new camera gear that I just got for some upcoming projects that I'm super excited about. I can't wait to tell you guys, although I can't reveal it quite at this point in time. So we're going to go ahead and run through it. I just want to show you everything that I just picked up uh, and maybe someday we'll do a video haul on what I already had or what I've been working with. Uh, but this is just to expand out my uh, abilities, basically, of what I can do and how I can do things. So I'm really excited. I'm hoping it's going to improve future content uh, quite a bit. And uh, just like I said, give me some adaptability to do different things uh, other than just lugging around my big camera, which I use uh, at the, this point. So anyways, let's get started with a rundown on the different things we got. Uh, I have my assistant ready to go uh, for the first product, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, the first thing we have is our PGY Tech camera cage for the Osmo Action. So, that is this here, the actual case that goes around the Osmo Action. I had to get a specific special one in order to do all of this. Uh, it just wasn't doable with the original one I had, but there was one special need that I had that this case provided, which I will talk about in just a little bit. But other than that, as you can see, it has a hot shoe on the top and the side, which allows you to mount different products to it. So that is the case. It slides on, snaps on real easy, still leaves your screens open. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about our next most obvious thing on there, which is the Rode Video Micro, which is a compact microphone. And there goes our screen. And there we go. Okay, we got it back. And this is really nice because it's lightweight, it's small, it does not require batteries. And as you can see here, I can now clip it on top of the camera itself. And this uh, dead cat here actually comes off for inside recording, but this will be obviously if you have a windy day, you can throw that on there if you're outside recording. Um, but as you can see, it's really compact and small, so it'll be easy to move around, you know, especially if I'm traveling or doing anything like that. Uh, it's really just going to go a long way to improve the audio quality on this camera. So I'm really excited about that as well. Let's go ahead and move on to our next product, which is the Loom Cube, Loom Cube 2.0, which I, was something I wasn't originally thinking about getting. But after looking around and thinking about how I might want to use this, I just knew I needed some sort of lighting to add on to the camera. Uh, this is definitely a little bit higher end uh, from what I was originally anticipating to spend money on. Uh, but I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to work great. And it also will allow me to do a lot of things that more basic ones would not. So uh, really excited to get this thing tested out. I'm going to set that over there and go ahead and show you, you know, it's just got a couple simple buttons and a charge port right on the back. Uh, it's a little bit heavier, but the actual the nice thing is if I'm holding this camera, it gives me a nice wide surface, a little bit easier to hold on to if I was panning or just doing some walking around shooting of video. So that is that. Let's talk about the next thing, which is our PGY Tech Extension Pole Tripod Mini, which is what you can see here it's actually an extendable little tripod and uh, it also can be used as a selfie cam. These actually fold together and so if you wanted to bend this down, I could walk around and talk and do this kind of stuff. Uh, get those cool shots from up high looking down or actually, you know, peek up or get closer to things if I wanted to. Um, but the nice thing is it collapses all down too and it's just a nice compact little case. Uh, and I can actually carry it just like so uh, if I want some really nice footage or have the ability just to sit down and have a tripod that I could sit on the table and I could do an interview with somebody or I could just get some nice shots while I'm on the go uh, if I'm by myself perhaps. So let's go ahead and set this guy back out. And these are magnetic, which is pretty cool. So that fits together pretty good. So let's go ahead and move on to the next product that we're going to talk about, which is actually one of the most important for this little camera. This is the CY Nova Osmo Action dual 3.5 millimeter and USB-C adapter, which is this little thing that I have mounted on the side here. Uh, I'm going to pull this out just so you can see. 
uh, the normal camera has a door for the Osmo action that just clips right on here and actually helps to keep it waterproof. But for what I want to use this for, I don't need that. And I wanted to improve the audio, but the only way to do that is to buy a specific adapter that will actually plug right into that USB adapter or USB port, I'm sorry about that. And it actually allows you to charge even while you're using the camera, which is a really neat feature. But like I said, I can improve the audio drastically by adding in an external microphone over just using the internal microphone. And just to throw it out there, you guys haven't actually seen the Osmo Action, but I have used it in some of my videos so far. So I'm still kind of learning how to use it, trying to find the ins and outs, you know, uh, about how it works. But so far, I love it. For the price point, it's really cool. It gets me that 4K video. Uh, and I think with some of these tools, it's really gonna improve how it functions for me as well. So let's go ahead and move on to our next super cool product, which is the Rode Wireless Go uh, compact, compact wireless microphone system. And so this thing is pretty darn cool. I've watched a lot of videos. Uh, it's actually charging right now because it was pretty darn close to dead. Uh, but it has built-in batteries so you can charge them up. Uh, we have a receiver and a transmitter and uh, we actually have a built-in microphone, which is really nice, so you can just clip it right onto whoever's getting filmed or who you're talking with. And uh, we have pretty good range. I wanna say it's like up to 100, 150 feet range. I can be away from the camera, and you guys will still be able to hear me talk with clear and concise audio, which will be really good. Um, the only time I've seen these really fail is if you kind of turn and hide them uh, away from the camera. So if it's on the back of the subject you're talking to, you wouldn't be able to get as far. And these also came with some mini dead cats that you can put on there to block that wind noise for use outdoors. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, I look forward to doing some testing to really get this stuff locked in and figured out. But in order for that to be a true wireless system and be able to look really professional, these next two products, which is the Rode Smart Lab Plus and the SC3 adapter from Rode, which are both necessary components in uh, what I'm doing here. So that one is actually the lab, but it has a four pin connector on it, which it's made to use with like smartphones and things like that. And uh, I'm not sure exactly what other devices use the four pin, but uh, most cameras and to include this Rode system, you need to use the three pin to get the audio to function correctly. But I've seen some really good reviews on these things. People seem to be happy with the audio quality uh, and the longevity. So I'm really excited to use this in tandem with my Rode, uh, the Wireless Go kit. So that should potentially improve the audio more than just using the internal microphone. So really looking forward to that stuff. So let's go ahead and move on to our next product which is the Polar Pro Shutter Collection Cinema Series for the Osmo Action. And that is right here, which it comes in a little case. And so we have a ring that'll go on and replace the current uh, clear glass uh, waterproof lens for the front. And then it comes with five different shades from ND4 all the way up to ND64 shade levels. And these will actually just magnet pop right on. Uh, they're not perfect for everybody, but I believe for what I'm planning on using them for, they're gonna be great because I can go outside really quickly, change from one shade to the other. So that way I can start filming with as little time wasted as possible. And then also if the conditions are changing constantly as I'm out there, the clouds pulling in and out and in and out, that I can just pop down to lower and higher without much time wasted. So really looking forward to that. Um, and then finally, this is a big one, literally. We got the Kaver, Kayer, I don't even know how you say it, but anyways, it's a monopod, looks like Kayer. Uh, because I wanted to be able to do some filming on the go and the tripods are really not convenient, especially if you're doing something there's not much space available. So that is what this sucker is right here. It's huge. It's awesome. 
So it's a monopod. We have three different levels. This one's made of uh, what appears to be aluminum. Uh, it's fairly lightweight. We got these feet that pop up that uh, are really nice. So it's a little bit more compact. Came with a travel case as well. And then you can pop them down flat so you can have a flat surface to actually stand this guy up on its own. Or you can go to the second level, which gives you a little bit of extra height. So this can be loosened and you actually can move this thing all around. So if you're getting some sort of dynamic shots, you can really have a lot of freedom or you can just screw this back down to lock it in place. And then, like I said, just unlock like you would with a tra standard tripod. But the really cool thing about this is this thing actually has a fluid head uh, on top of it. So I can mount a camera here and then loosen everything up, get it ready to roll. And then I can take some nice smooth shots going left, right, up, down, and get some really good quality video. Um, and then it actually came with two of these base plates so I could have them mounted in two different cameras. So if I needed a swap real quick, I could do that with no problems. Um, this is probably actually one of the things I'm the most excited about just because uh, so far all my tripods and stuff like that have been pretty much low quality and or hand-me-downs just because I haven't wanted to invest the money. Uh, I've been trying to upgrade the camera equipment more so to give better quality and so I'm really looking forward to testing this guy out, using it, and then in the future uh, being able to actually buy uh, nicer quality tripods as well. So I'm super excited about that. Um, so if you guys liked this video, if you like seeing what kind of camera stuff that I pick up, or if you'd like to even just see what I've been using or kind of how my spread set up at this point, you know, let me know. Uh, this stuff's all really exciting to me. I've waited a long time to, to get the upgrades and I was able to do a lot at one time uh, after saving up. So I'm really excited about that. But I will have a link for each product that's up here today. Uh, down in the description below. It's my Amazon affiliate. You guys can click on those if you want to pick up any of these things. Or if you just click on it and go there and buy something else, uh, I will actually get a small little percentage back from that, which will help me. That's actually how I was able to get some of this stuff, uh, as I was able to use some of those funds from previous videos you guys have helped me out with. Um, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It just gives me a little kickback knowing that you're watching my videos and uh, you are then going to Amazon and potentially buying something. So uh, those are down there if you guys want them. And in the future, you will see this stuff in action. And uh, I'm really excited to bring it to you guys. So, um, so far, I'd like to thank everyone who subscribed to the channel. You guys are great. You're the reason that I do this. Uh, I wouldn't bother doing it if no one cared to watch uh, any of the content that I produce. So thank you guys for that. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. You can click the little bell and it'll tell you whenever I post a video. And uh, you know, if you like this video, like it. If you didn't, don't like it. It's all right. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to getting out there and using some of this gear. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.